Anyway, um, I've worked with her on a number of projects and we have plans for more. So um, I'd like to ask Barbara, Barbara Levenheim, to read Manor's published poem, Creation. Creation. This well springs from myself. It hide and seeks. Its water dark yet clear, outlasting the ice age, the ages of wolves and bears and curses. It saves its sweetness underground until a gentle sorcerer should pass by. A hazel rod in his hand tickle the fat round drops from its roots. I am earth said solid ground, and seasons shall dance through me. I am water, I replied, hidden in crannies and clefts. Rise up, he said, and join my flesh of soil. It will be your crop. I am yours, I answered. Your veins of earth will feel me flowing, secret, invisible, never arriving at journey's end. And we will create an other world, love, a place where land meets water. <laughs> so first of all, we had the titles, and then we had the text being used to inspire movements, and now I'm about to set words. Um, is there a Welsh speaker here? Anyone, anyone that speaks Welsh? No. All right, but I, I think I might tell a story, but in 2007, I was commissioned to write a short about a three minute piece for the female choir competition of the 2008 Llangollen International Musical Eisteddfod, and I turned to Mena. Now, an Eisteddfod uh, is a Welsh festival, and, and uh, so that's what the word means. But, um, uh, I heard, when I was back in Wales, I heard a, a person on the street say to his dog, Eisteddfoduk! <laughs> and it turns out, of course, an Eisteddfod is when you sit down to listen to other people. <laughs> That's what it means. And I, I was surprised. I expected the dog to do something more than sit. <laughs> So I wanted a piece to reflect Wales, and when I think of Wales, I think of the land, but also water and hymns. I said, and perhaps a little Welsh language. Now my relationship to the Welsh language has undergone a change. My grandfather spoke Welsh and spoke English, but he couldn't read English. My grandmother uh, did not speak Welsh, and so my grandfather was not allowed to talk to his daughters, my mother and her sister, uh, in Welsh, because my grandmother, my grandmother wanted to be sure she knew what her husband was saying to the daughters. And so I missed being a Welsh speaker by one generation, which is something I regret, to tell you the truth. And I was bright in school, so I had to do French rather than Welsh. That's the way it was. Now, in Wales, with, of course, with the whole devolution movement, we have six Welsh-speaking uh, junior schools. And, and so Welsh is coming back into the valleys. Um, I was caught in a, in a time in between. So even though I can pronounce Welsh, I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to use it. And then in uh, 1988, my mother sent me a tape. Um, it's called Talk Tidy. I, I don't know, if does it amuse you to see those signs keep Britain tidy. <laughs> it's like, oh dear, it's cluttered up with, you know, civilization or something. <laughs> but tidy has that kind of ring to it. So, uh, Talk Tidy by John Edwards. And in, um, in, in, in the tape, uh, which is actually a comedy routine, he said, 
they speak Welsh in the valleys. I'm from the valleys of, of South Wales. They speak Welsh in the valleys, only they do it through the medium of English. <laughs> and that was very freeing for me. It was very freeing for me. So, we had this idea of maybe having a little Welsh and talking about water. And I knew her creation poem from, uh, from this book, which you're welcome to take a look at. And so between the two of us, over about, about 24 hours, we reworked the creation poem that you just read and made it into something that would work, that would have the kind of things that I wanted in it for the choir piece. So if you'd like to read Menor's uh, changed version, Wellspring, now following the original one, that would be good. Would you do us the gracious honor of reading that one line in Welsh when we get there. Oh, when we get there? Okay. <laughs> I can do it in English, but not in Welsh. Wellspring. We seek the well that is open, clear crystal, full and flowing, dale and down, we'll taste the essence of water. Door, door, water, water. Spring, spring, the bright well, round drops from roots, hazel rod in hand, we call out, Doer, 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 water, water. I am earth, says the solid ground. Seasons dance through me. Rise up, show us your secret. Doer, doer, water, water. Heather fanan a argoroid. Clear crystal, full and flowing. The veins of the earth wash away all our sorrow. Doer, doer, water water. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you, you see now it's changed into something that's, that's more settable, that has that door. It, it actually begins with door, door, with kind of drops becoming a little stream and so on. Um, and the hymn, uh, which, is, which is that quotation, I'm able to use part of a Welsh hymn at that point. And since it's an international festival, I enjoyed the fact that choirs from South Africa, and in fact the winning choir was from, uh, this was from uh, below San Francisco. I can't remember what it was. No, yeah, so, so anyway, it's, it's from California. Uh, they, they, they won, but it was, it was lovely to, to write a piece that could be spread abroad in that way. Now, actually, I don't have a good recording of that, but I thought um, we, I'd just play you a short, different piece um, that I collaborated on with Mena. And it, uh, there was, I think you have the poems from Songs of the Cotton Grass. It's, it's a white sheet, yeah, with, about, with uh, poems. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I'll find it. It's number 10. No, no. Oh, it's just a... No, I'm, right. I'm looking for number 10. Can we put it down? No. Okay. No. Okay. Sorry. So, so the one that we're going to listen to is actually called... Whoops. Wings of the Grasses. It's number, it's number three. Okay. So you can, ha you can have a sense. I, I tend to play with the texts. So she didn't write it with, uh, with all the interlocking um, verses and choruses. And so the visual look of the text becomes important to me. <laughs> Please continue, I'm sorry. So uh, ideally we'll hear, this is quite a light piece, but toward the end, and, it changes, may I? Mm -hmm. So that um, you can see, we, cho we, we change the tense. It's we'd count, we would count all the grasses. We used to count all the grasses. And so at the beginning, we're just counting the different grasses. But then 
we we'd count all the grasses and of course I counted the grasses with my sister and with my mother and so this piece can now take the words and we can we can Mena and I now can change change it round